Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are bringing you the 10 hidden features for the Mate 10 Pro from Huawei. Now, because the P20 and the Mate 10 have a similar interface, all of the hidden features will be working as well on the P20. So as always, if you know all of these 10 hidden features, then you get a like thumbs up. But if you didn't know one of them, then I get a like thumbs up. Deal? All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so the first hidden feature for the Mate 10 Pro definitely has to be private space. Now, private space is essentially having two different phones with two different logins. So depending on how you set up your phone, my regular login with this finger would be right here. And my secondary account would be with this finger right here. And this will log me into an entirely different phone. And that's what's really cool is it completely separates the phone. So you have your private account and your regular account. Now, I will say that logging back into the other one does take a little bit of time, as you can see here. Uh, normally when you unlock your fingerprints right away, but this does take a little bit more time to switch back and forth. However, the benefits are you have two separate phones. So how do you set this up? Well, you go to security and privacy. Then you go right here to private space. Now this does require you, of course, to set up two different pins and two different fingerprints in order to unlock which one you want to unlock. But again, the benefit is you literally have two different phones that are your private space and your main space. And it's just really nice to be able to do that, to actually separate everything. So your photos are different, your camera's different, your apps are different, everything is uh, separated. One of my favorite things about the Mate 10 Pro is definitely the lock screen. Now, the best part about it is that you have actually some hidden features on it as well. And that is, if you swipe up from the bottom of the lock screen, you have great things like recording. You can record for a meeting, interview, or normal. You also have the ability to go through your flashlight, your calculator, your stopwatch, and even a quick QR code scanner. These are just really great features to have on the fly, not to mention you have the customization of your lock screen wallpapers as well. So you can very easily just switch between different styles and categories. And I like that a lot just because you really have that personalization from this Mate 10 Pro on the lock screen. Now, another great feature is the hidden home screen settings and you just do pinch to zoom and that allows you to quickly go to it. Now you can still do old fashioned things like wallpapers, widgets and transitions, but definitely the biggest things is in the settings portion where you can change a lot of things. One, you can change how many apps you want on any given screen. You can auto align apps so you can actually change them uh, to be basically removing empty space. You can shake to do the same. You have badge app icons, which I actually prefer the unread messages over just the regular badge messages. That's just me. Uh, you do have app suggestions, which I personally turn off because I don't need them to. And I like to have home screen loop on as well as auto rotate. Now that makes for a much better experience because you can just quickly go around your home screen and also you have the ability to put it in landscape mode very nicely and easily. So these settings are a little bit not shown, but they have the ability to really help out your phone a lot. All right, so for this next hidden feature, I combined two hidden features to save you battery to life on these phones. Now it's just by going into settings and there's two areas here, going under first battery and tapping darken interface colors. This changes all of the colors that you normally see, which is the white interface into a black interface, which is much better for these type of OLED displays. The second thing you want to do is to go into display itself and go under screen resolution and change it to smart resolution. What this does is when needed, especially on apps that it would dramatically help you with, it will automatically change the phone to 720p instead of 1080p, thus saving you battery life in the long run when enabling this. So really great for battery life in the long run. And again, you won't even really know 720p because it's not for apps that really utilize the full 1080 display. All right, now this next one is definitely one that I really like, and that is fingerprint gestures. Now, fingerprint gestures are really cool because it allows you to use the fingerprint scanner for more than just unlocking your phone. Now, you have to go into settings, 
into security and then under fingerprint ID, you actually have all these extra features you can do with your fingerprint, such as take a photo, such as answer a call. But the best two in my opinion are definitely the sliding the notification panel down and being able to browse through your photos. And this is really great because when you're slowing like a slideshow, it really makes it nice and easy to be able to just swipe through it without putting your fingerprints on it and having a much better presentation. Now, these next ones are all in the same category and that is smart assistants. Now, Huawei has put these all together as before they were in separate places, but again, all of these are just really good. So a couple of different things here. Uh, one is one-handed mode. It's just really great because you just swipe from the side in and then you have a one-handed capability on either side. So that's really great, simple and easy to use. You also have system navigation, so you can customize the navigation bar and even have the navigation dock on there, depending on how you want to have it. So customize it as you wish. You have motion controls, which I usually turn off just because these do waste your battery. So if you're not really using them, I wouldn't. You have split screen gestures, so you can kind of go like this and uh, be able to have a split screen right away. So that's simple and easy to do. You also can do double uh, tap to um, actually take a screenshot, which I do like that one. That is my favorite way to take a screenshot is just double tapping your knuckles. Um, and yeah, those are the simple ones. Glove mode. So if you do have gloves on, this will be much better. This also helps if you have a screen protector on, just so you know. And then of course, scheduling uh, power on and off is always good because you always want to turn your phone off at least once a week. So if you schedule this one time every week, it really does help. Okay, this next feature improves your call quality dramatically because it enables you to use data in order to may have way better calls. And you simply do this by going into call and then hitting the little three dots down here and then hit settings. And then from here, you just turn on virtual HD call. This will be much better. Also make sure you do have pocket mode, which just makes it so that it's louder while it's in your pocket. But then as soon as you take it out, it goes back to regular volume. Again, just so you don't miss any calls. These two features will improve your calling capability on your smartphone a lot better. All right, this next feature is becoming more popular, but Huawei was one of the first smartphones to do it even before stock Android. And that is App Twin. Now App Twin allows you to have two different sign-ins for uh, the same app on one phone. So you can do this by going into settings, then going under apps and notifications, and then going to App Twin. And again, this allows you to have two different Facebook sign-ins, two different messenger sign-ins, and also WhatsApp and other apps as well. That again, just allows you to have two different sign-ins for the same app. Now this next one is a really great feature and it's called a storage cleaner. And how you do this is simply go into settings, then going under storage, and then at the very bottom is storage cleaner. Now basically what this does is it takes everything from your phone and it wipes out anything that you don't need. So again, unused videos, uh, similar photos and so on and so forth. So you can really do this. Um, and basically like right now I can actually just clean out my images all of that stuff, very simple and very easy, but you can even see which ones it's selected. So local videos, I don't usually use these. So yeah, sure, why not? You can delete those as well. And again, this saves up a lot of storage and it goes through everything you need to right away. Simple, quick and easy. And it tells you just how much you've cleared by using this. All right, traditionally for our last feature, we always like to go for a camera hidden feature. And this one is no different. And it's one of the best hidden features on the Huawei Mate 10 Pro and all other Huawei's. And that is simply that you can actually blur out the background or portrait mode in a standard video instead of just a photo. So this is a really cool feature because when you're filming, you can actually blur out the background too, and you can even control it how much you have that blur effect. So even though you're not taking a photo, you still have the same depth capability that you do on portrait mode. And that is just by going to your camera, switching to video, and then right here at the top, you still actually can activate this aperture mode. And in that you can also 
activate how much you want to blur in the background right here too, which is really cool. Just the ability to have this on video mode really stands out from all of their smartphones because they can only do it in photo still, whereas Huawei is already doing this in video. All right, guys, hopefully you did like those 10 hidden features. Remember, if you did not know all of them, please give me a like, thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. And make sure you share this with anyone else that you know that has a Huawei smartphone. Thank you again, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.